Having three medium battle mechs in our hangar, we felt like more of a real mercenary company than ever before. And speaking of mercenary work, we get two transmissions, one going against the other. We take a look at them, and we pick the Interstellar Expeditions. Their transmission reads as such. Nearby systems have been caught in the wake of the Black Inferno's march, so they're vulnerable and exposed. Most of these worlds are simple farming and extraction planets, but they still offer valuable resources that my clients are looking to acquire at, shall we say, reasonable prices? If you're willing to look past any moral quandaries, we'd like you to help us grab the supplies we need by staging a diversionary raid. If you drop into the affected planet and grab the attention of whatever defenses are still viable, then we will send in salvage crews while you are engaging the locals. Anything of value our teams find beyond what we need will be your payment for this contract. If it helps orient your moral compass, don't think of the job as aiding and abetting thievery. Think of the job as accelerated negotiations. Our clients need these supplies far more than the local people do. Without them, they'll survive, but our clients won't. After accepting the Interstellar Expedition Transmission mission, we transport our way to the system known as Verde. A nearby agricultural system may have supplies we desperately need, but we can't ignore their local militia forces, which are composed of native farmers. The biggest advantage they have against us is they're already on high alert due to the Black Inferno's recent strike, so they'll be expecting trouble. They just don't know what kind of trouble, and they're certainly not expecting us. Alright. It's not like your video is going to be like, passed to a massive audience. No. I might build up a massive audience one day, but it's definitely not going to be within this year. Or even two. What's his speed? That's like 82. Hey, you're actually one faster than I am. Alright, I'm going to have to do some rebindings on the keys. Alright, changing it now. Uh... Yeah, it's, 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 it's got a speed of 81. Oh, the little city. Nice, one of his arms got blown off. That's gonna hit his firepower real well. God, I love this version of Mech Warrior. I do. I should hope so. It's what you're trying to build your career off of. Pretty much. The modern version of Mech Warrior is just so good. It really is. Really. You, you know what you could start trying to do? You could start trying to do a uh, Pulsar content. I would love to do Pulsar content. Yeah, okay. It's not that I want to roleplay. It's that I want to play the game competently and fun. Yeah. So, CNF. You want, like, actual cohesion. You don't just want... Haha, <laughs> funny, let's crash the moon. Exactly. I don't... The one thing I hate when I see Let's Players is whatever game they're playing. This is... I'm a big fan of Oni Plays, and they do this all the fucking time. They'll play a game, and it's all about whatever they're talking about, which is fine. That's what I go to there for. But if they could also be decent at the game, I would love that too. But I think that's asking too much, because they're like middle-aged men at this point. Yeah, but the thing is, you can either be good, or you can be entertaining. You seldom can do both. Yeah. It is kind of... You, uh, it's not like we're really were, good at that. No. But it's like, if you were good, then you wouldn't have to be entertaining, because you're good. And, and if, if you're, you're enter entertaining, good, you have to be entertaining. Because why would somebody come to seek a guy who isn't entertaining, and also isn't great at the game? And so what I'm hoping for is to have a balance of both, but it's not, like, lackluster enough to where I can't actually... Because a jack-of-all-trades is a master of none. But, and no um, one wants that, still... really. But, 
is still greater than the master of one. Maybe. That's how the saying is actually meant to be going. Really? That's the full saying, a jack of all trades is the master of none, but it's still far greater than the master of one. Is that really the full saying? Yeah. Ah. It's the same thing as blood. Blood is thicker than water. Is actually the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the um, water of the womb. Jesus. The is down which which it well, which sounds bad, here. but it's actually meant to be is you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends, and that's why your friends always take priority over your family. Because your family is, it's a weird thing of your friends are your true family. You chose them, you want to be with them. So you should prioritize them over your family who you have no control over. And if they're dicks, they're dicks. I'm not helping you, they're not helping you. Right. It's same as like um, two birds on stones. It's actually meant to be, it's easier than killing birds of stones. <laughs> yeah. The, the original caveman saying was completely different. Yeah. We just kind of made it cleverer. <laughs> Indeed. Commander, we've received a message from the local colonists, forwarding it to you. We don't know who you are, but we are begging you to be on your way. We are simple farmers. We have no quarrel with you. All we ask is for you to leave us be. We have so little as it is, and the damage you've already caused on this planet will make it harder for us. Please, just let us be, and we'll help you get what your employer wants. Tell us what you need, and we will tell you where you can find what you're looking for. Nevertheless, we should press on. We have another target we need to hit if we want to stay afloat. Our work still wasn't done, so from Verde, we head to Quincy. We're hoping against hope that the attack on these innocents will yield sufficient reward. Okay, so since we're helping the company, we're going to raid the final civilian planet. Are we the bad guy? Are we the buddies? Are we the baddies? So I think, I can tell you the context of this. I think, I don't know if this is completely true. It could not be. But I helped the farmers before and they were like, we barely have enough food to get through like the winter for ourselves. So we can't sell any food to the company. And the company's like, we had a contract. You were going to give us food. You need to fulfill it. So it's sort of like, on one hand, the farmers are doing something illegal, but on another hand, it's for a good reason. So we're just enforcing the law here. So we are the good guys. We are the good guys. It'll Thanks. probably make, Thanks. for the audience, it'll make more sense because I'm going to read like the actual context of the missions to them. Like, we could barely survive on our own. Well, that's your fault, but not... Crops. Maybe you shouldn't have taken that contract deal, huh? Maybe you shouldn't have been such a pussy. Yeah, but we didn't know that the crops wouldn't yield that much. Yeah, well, whatever. You signed a fucking contract, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> you little bitch, baby. You little baby shit. <laughs> oh, you gonna cry. You gonna cry, little piss baby. Oh, little piss baby, baby gonna piss and shit and come. <laughs> He's gonna piss and shit and come up there. Yo, 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 yo. yo. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's get in there. The local farmer supplied you with the location of a nearby system. A place where our salvage team should be able to find everything on our client's shopping list. That planet's communication systems all ties into a central point. Destroy the primary comm center to prevent the local militia from coordinating their defense. Doing that will buy plenty of time for our salvage teams to search the planet for what we need. Ground armor spotted. Oh, okay. <laughs> Down this planet's communication systems. Once we do Opening that, battle map. Will be in the dark. Opening and battle our map. Team okay, we, we are destroying need. every building at each target location. A radio tower needs to be destroyed. Is down. We got an enemy urban. He's got an AC-20. He's nasty. Down. 
he's gonna fuck you up. Oh, no, you got him. Yeah, I just went in swinging. Your body's already in the red, though, which is unfortunate. Yeah, well, it was gonna happen. Try to take some side shots if you can. That big fucking honking nose of yours is no good. Okay, we're gonna head to the southernmost objective. So let's swing around the mountain canyon. I have just like a big radio on my head. Yeah, okay. I can actually do a little bit of a lore dump. It's not that long. The crab originally had some really good communications electronics, so he was more of a scouting medium. The thing is, though, that technology is rare and lost tech and all that, so now he's just a combatant with, like, standard radio equipment. He was designed for a specific purpose, but now we can't fulfill it. What the fuck am I being shot by? Literally everything. The bots in this game can snipe you. Uh, we got another urban mech, too. Are you, like, singing along to your music? Is that what you're doing? No. Okay, okay. I am. Um, I'm very good at music. I never did an instrument, but you can play me a song, and I can then sing it back to you almost immediately. Afterwards. Can you sing it clearly, though? I can. All right, what's the most recent song you listened to? What was it? St. Bernard's. St. Bernard's. St. Bernard. All right, sing it to me. Uh, pictures of patron saints to remind me that I am a fool. Tell me where I came from, I will always be just a spoiled little kid who went to Catholic school. And I said, make me love myself so that I might love you. Don't make me a liar, God. When you said it, I thought it was true. Saint Calvin told me not to worry about you. He got his own things to deal with. There's really just one thing that we have in common. Neither of us will be missed. St. Bernard sits at the top of the driveway. You always said how you love dogs. I don't know if I can, but I'm trying my best. When I'm howling and barking these songs. That's the entire song, of course. <laughs> Is that, that's a shanty. No. No, no it's okay. Not. It's, 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 uh, yeah. I see, I see. But yeah, that's quite a short song, but it demonstrates the ability well enough. I'm probably going to cut these up into, like, multiple episodes, because... Yeah, I'll probably cut these up into, like, 20 or 25 minute episodes, and that'll be, like... I'll name one. The one where Grumpet sings or something. <laughs> I see. Thank you for that. <laughs> You'll be the star. Thank you, thank you. It means a lot. We're still in the episode, too. Holy fuck these Irvies, dude. I'll tell everyone to take care of that Irby. Oh, it's almost dead. Hey. Let's get this last target and get the F out of H. They, I do like that you fight tanks and shit, and not just mechs in this game. It really makes it... I really like it. I think it really makes it. One thing that I wish you could do, though, is, like, instead of taking a mech, you could take, like, a squadron of tanks or something like that. Yeah. That'd be sick. 
I saw some really cool yeah. mods where you had to escort a convoy too, so that was also like a cool proof of concept. Commander. Yeah, just exfil. We've gotten enough mechs destroyed already. Yeah, um, the very first episode, you have like a, a, like like another person. You show the first uh, mission, and it's like really like still do roleplay. The second mission, where it's like slightly less still do roleplay, asking <laughs> about the small arms, like fuck, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, fuck. No, that's definitely going in. That's definitely going in. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be one of my top moments. <laughs> Tell me, Commander, why does the Gen have such small arms? I can't do this no, anymore. No, no, fuck it, fuck it, no, no. Uh, abort. <laughs> that was pretty well said. Well, Commander, the job is done. And the end results are all that matter. Our salvage crews discovered some surplus heat sinks, jump jets, and a lucky stash of damaged Lost Tech weapons among the wreckage that's all yours for the taking. But this ancient Star League hardware should more than compensate for those qualms. You're new at this, so we will offer you some free advice. Remind yourself that everyone is simply trying to survive. You, me, the weak, the strong. The inner sphere is a hard place, and sometimes you will need to get your hands dirty to stay alive. Maybe feeling kind of bad of what we did to those farmers, we decided to go and help out these in distress miners. Maybe we can make amends for what we did. We're broadcasting under the strictest of confidentiality. This message comes on behalf of all the workers and residents in the star systems controlled by the Apex Mining Syndicate. We are being literally worked to death, reduced to little more than slaves to help pad the Syndicate's bottom line. We've grown tired of the non-existent pay, low rations, and pitiful living conditions. Greedy companies like Apex only understand one language, the almighty Sea bill So we have to hit them right in their pocketbook to get their attention. For this contract, we've marked two critical installations that, if destroyed, will hurt Apex and hopefully force them to the negotiation table so that we may take back control of our lives. We actually got this. Yeah. Poggies. Poggies. That's a pog champ moment right there. That's a pog champ moment if I can say it, so myself. Can I get. Can we get a uh, pog in the YouTube comments, lad? <laughs> can we get five pogs? Just five pogs! Five pogs, guys. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. <laughs> five pogs. Make sure to like, comment, and pog. Like, comment, and pog. <laughs> I'm keeping this. That's awesome. <laughs> Hello there, make sure to like, comment, and pog. I send me back my pog champ army. <laughs> Get my pog champ army, say hey! Attention, prepare for battle like departure. Alright. Like, comment, and pog scribe. <laughs> pog scribe. That's so fucking outdated, that's cringe. <laughs> so to fuck 25 poggers. <laughs> Do you know about the Poggers, dude? I, you're going to enjoy this one, Commander. I don't. Do you know what happened to him? Turns out he's like a big racist or something. I can't relate to being racist. Not me. <laughs> Not you. Couldn't be me. True fight Texan. I just like, you know, I like it back when it was normal. When you could fuck a guy and not be called gay, you know? <laughs> when you could fuck a guy and not be called gay. Just two men, just have fun. This let's play is too homosexual. Let's, let's play is too gay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that audience. I just are sinning against God. <laughs> you have something against God. <laughs> <laughs> the father, the son, and the bear. <laughs> Bringing it back around. Oh yeah, you say you can, um... <laughs> you say that you can recite any song perfectly as soon as you hear it, right? Well, Mr. Christian did some, uh, album covers. But he changed the lyrics. Maybe, uh... Okay. Maybe next time we get you to listen to that and, uh... Have ourselves a little recording. 
The song's been covered by multiple people many times, so we don't have to listen to a shitty version of it, but I want to show you the original. I'm charging off ahead without anyone. I'm no, you're back. fine. Not do that. This, this actually isn't that big of a... This is not that bad of a mission. Are we still killing farmers? Yes. Good. Good, I'm happy. Fuck Actually, <laughs> I kind of realize... So this second part of the mission, like, you can... For either side you take, it'll be this map and the same objectives. So we're doing the same thing for different reasons. Yeah, man. It's pretty... What's it called? Uh, like... Are fucking these farmers, I don't care. Surface level? <laughs> we're fucking these farmers. Fuck these farmers, man. Fuck these farmers. Know their place. They're being shown the crab hand of capitalism. <laughs> the crab hand. Target destroyed. Target acquired. The crab hand of capitalism. Crab hand of capitalism. Mm -hmm. It comes for us all with its big, beautiful pincers. And flawless and alliteration. Hmm. <laughs> You've heard the bear of the Holy Spirit. Now, now comes the uh, crab hands of capitalism. <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> it's shit, but it's funny. Bang. All right, get to Xville. You got fast speed for a crab, right? Got foot. I see one. Yeah, that's good. Get to Xville. I'm gonna have some fun. Um, I see how it is. All right, you can join me. Join me in the farmer slaughter. Well, the plus, I should have a good time editing all of this. <laughs> Shows footage of me giving a thumbs up. A <laughs> window for extraction is closing. Let's get out of here. I think I'll have a fun time. This will be fun. Just heard back from our employers. The syndicate has agreed to conduct ongoing negotiations with the miners thanks to your efforts. The payout we got will help offset some of our costs as well. All around, I'd call that a good day's work, Commander. Nice job. Well, thanks for uh, watching us, everybody, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.